Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to another 5-Minute Stories with Miss Ashley. I hope you had a wonderful and happy holiday. Today, I'm going to tell you one of my favorite stories in the wintertime. It's called The Mitten. So here we go. I'm going to put the mitten right here. Just imagine I'm the felt board today. <laughs> so here is my mitten. This story is a wonderful short story that was written by Jan Brett, and she adapted it from a very old, wonderful story. And it goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Nicky, and he really wanted a pair of snow white mittens. And when he asked his grandmother, Baba, to knit him some mittens, she said, oh no, if we make them white as snow, you will lose them out in the snow. But Nikki insisted, oh grandma, please, I really, really want a pair of white mittens. And because she loved Nikki so much, grandma agreed and she knit him a pair of white mittens, just like this, white as snow. And Nikki was so happy he couldn't wait to wear his white mittens and go out and have his adventure in the snow. Before he left, his grandmother told him, when you come back, first, I will check to see that you are safe. And second, I will check to see if you are wearing your snow white mittens. Nikki agreed and he went out into the wide world. And it wasn't long after he started playing in the snow that one of his mittens swoop, slipped off and fell in the snow. And Nikki was having so much fun, he didn't even notice. But a little creature did. Here comes a little mole. He was so cold in the snow and looking for a nice warm place to settle down. And he found the mitten. So he decided to crawl up into the thumb of the mitten. There he is right there. And he settled down for a nice winter nap. Now it wasn't long after that that another animal came by. A snowshoe rabbit, boing, 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 hopped on over. And when she saw the mitten, she decided to squeeze on in there with the mole. And so she did, she squeezed into the mitten. Now here's where we have to use our imaginations. The mitten is just the size of his hand. So when that snowshoe rabbit squeezed on in there with our mole, the wool that made up the mitten had to stretch just a little bit so that they could both occupy the mitten. And they were nice and toasty warm and they decided to take a little nap together. It wasn't long until another animal came along, a little prickly hedgehog. And when he saw the mitten, he thought, oh, now that would be a nice place to rest. And so he squeezed on in there, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And the other animals were pretty tight in there already, but they knew that that poor animal was so cold and they feared those quills. So they moved over and made some room for our hedgehog. There he is. Now, how many animals do we have in our mitten? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three animals in that little mitten. So, of course, it had to stretch even more to uh, accommodate those animals. And by now, Nikki realized he was missing one of his mittens. So he started looking for them, looking for it. But you know, it was snowing and it was a white mitten, so he had a hard time finding it. Yet another animal came across that mitten, a owl, hoo, hoo. And when he saw that mitten, he thought, oh yes, that looks like a nice warm place to sleep. And so he crawled on in too. And the other animals thought, well, it's already pretty tight in here, but they didn't like the look of his sharp beak. So they quickly moved over and made some room for the owl. So we're gonna put the owl right here behind the hedgehog. Stick on there. There we go. And they're in the mitten. And that mitten stretched even further. And it wasn't long after that till another animal came along, a grumpy old badger. And when he saw that mitten, he thought, well, why can't I have a nice place to sleep? And so he pushed his way in too, so he could sleep in the mitten just like that. And of course, all the other animals, they didn't want to mess with his sharp claws, so he, they moved over and made some room. And that mitten stretched even further to accommodate all those animals. And here comes yet another animal. Uh, a red fox comes in and he says, oh, that does look like a nice place to sleep. And he says, move on over, I'm coming in. Plop, there he goes. 
and the mittens stretched even further. Well, I have to say that grandma's knitting skills are top notch if that mitten can stretch even further. Do you think it can fit more animals than that? It can. Here comes yet another animal this time. It was a great big bear. Roar. And when he saw that mitten and all those animals sleeping in there, he thought, oh yeah, I can fit. And so he nosed his way in and he pushed and he pushed and he pushed and they all made room so that he could go into the mitten too. And that mitten stretched and stretched and stretched to its fullest, fullest size. And all those animals are sleeping in there. Let's see, how many animals is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven animals? I think that's all we can fit, right? But then here comes one more cold little animal, a little field mouse, squeak, 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 squeak. And when she sees the mitten, she says, oh, I must have a room in that mitten too. And she comes on in and she perches herself right on top of the bear's nose, boop, just like that. And her little tail goes and tickles that bear's nose so much, uh-oh, that he has to, uh, uh, he has to sneeze, uh and when he does that, all of the animals fly out of the mitten. Here they go, there goes the hedgehog, and there goes the mole, and there goes the horse, the, the, the snowshoe bunny, and the bear, and the fox, they fly up into the air, and that mitten flies up, into the air and down right in front of Nikki. And he said, oh, I found my mitten. He put his mitten back on and he went back to his grandmother. And just as she said, she looked to make sure that he was okay. And then she checked to make sure he had both his mittens. And he did. And that's the end of the story. Isn't that a wonderful story? And such a silly way to tell it too. <laughs> And here is our literacy tip for this week. Short stories like the mitten are a great way to teach important life lessons to kids while having fun. This story is based on a Ukrainian folktale that teaches the important lessons of kindness and friendship. The mole and other animals were kind to each other and allowed each other to stay in the mitten in the freezing cold winter. And it was because they were so kind to each other that Santa offered them a warm place to stay. You can pick up Jan Brett's adaptation of The Mitten at any of our library branches. Snuggle up with this story for some holiday cheer and watch your child's imagination grow. Happy reading!